all and welcome back to Hacks, where we try to simplify cybersecurity. We're back on Hack the Site looking at the JavaScript missions and we're now on JavaScript 4 and it's called VAR. But that's what it said, right? I've already completed this challenge, but let's have a look. So, JavaScript mission 4. Faith is trying to trick you. She knows that you're tired from all the maths works. So if you remember in the previous mission, we had to do a bunch of maths to work out the value of bar or moo or foo bar moo. Uh, can't remember. But uh, yeah, that was a fun challenge. This one, however, was a little sneaky, a little deceptive. This faith has a uh, future in espionage and subversion tactics. So... We can enter a random password and it says, rah, no, try again. Now, if we view the page source to look at what the JavaScript's doing and we get to here, you can see function check X. So X is going to be your user input. And then we can see something odd going on here. Rah, rah equals hack this site. Now, Equals equals is different to equals. Equals equals is an operator which compares one string to another. So all this is doing is saying compare ra ra with hack this site, and then if x equals ra ra, alert win. But we've not assigned a value. Well, you can try it, sorry. So you can try hack this site here, but we know it's not going to work. Hack this, whoops, I didn't put the underscore in. Hack this site. But we know that's not going to work because this isn't actually assigning anything to rah rah. This is comparing it. If we uh, JavaScript equals equals, if we go on W3 schools, if it loads, we can see there that equals equals is equal to. It doesn't mean assign to. So when you assign variables, you put your var, your name, your variable, and then equals blah. Um, so what's actually happening? Well, hmm. if we highlight here, can you see how far this goes off of the page? And if we look at the bottom, can we see? Can you see the scroll bar down that? If we go all the way across. Hidden here, right outside the ballpark, all the way out, is ra ra equals me. Just to show you. Yeah. Very sneaky. But there is a way around it. And I didn't even um, notice that at first. Like I came back to it and I was like, oh, okay. But if you actually just click inspect see it right away ra ra equals moo which sort of feel like sort of ruined the challenge for me because i was already like oh, okay moo's already been assigned to ra ra um but let's have a look at what else is going on so we can see ra moo uh, ra ra equals moo function check x so that's your password like user input uh ra, ra equals hack the site we know that's not doing anything it's just comparing hack the site with ra ra and it says x equals ra ra win. Um, but it's not actually doing what it looks like there. Well, let's zoom in. So there's actually two speech marks here. So we can see that if x is equal to, because now you can see it's doing a comparison rather than assigning that it, like that was doing, is, is a double one. But we can see there that the single. Uh, equals mark is being I've moved it but we can see the singles equal the single equals symbol is used to assign a variable whereas the double equals symbol is being used to compare a value so now we're saying if x equals nothing no if x equals nothing plus ra ra plus nothing so it's basically saying if x is equal to nothing plus mu plus nothing, so if x is equal to mu, then you should win the challenge. So all we got to do is type in mu. Uh, mu. 
Moo. And then you win. And that's how you solve the challenge. Um, fun. Yeah, I liked it. I liked this challenge. It, again, was a bit deceptive. I feel like I ruined it a bit for myself because I used Inspect Element before View Page Source, so I already knew that Moo was being assigned to Rara. Whereas I've seen some challenges, I believe one of the basic ones uh, had something similar where it's like the password is here or something and the password was actually the word here. Um, they're frustrating, they're annoying challenges, but when you find them it gives you that sense of, wow, well, that was stupid, wasn't it? But no, I, I really enjoyed it. Anyway, if you are watching this video, thank you very much. I hope you found it informative. If you did, perhaps you could give me a thumbs up and maybe subscribe. And that's all I got for you. Kind regards.